What's good everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Zamir from XCC Tunes. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys what you should do when Cubase crash. Okay, currently I'm working on a big project, a film scoring project. And uh, it's quite heavy. Uh, there's a lot of synthesizers and um, a lot of sound design stuff going on in that project. So it's kind of heavy at the moment. So every time I launch this project file, it's not launching at all. So I'm going to show you guys what I usually do. Okay, first I'm going to go to the start button and go to Cubase 12. And I'm going to get this save mode uh, option here. Okay, but before that I'm going to send log files to Steinberg. So once I send the log file to Steinberg, the next thing that I do is deactivate all third party plugins. And now I'm going to launch Cubase. Okay, now Cubase is going to launch the save mode with no third party plugins at all. And usually, most of the time, it will load quite fast. So I'm going to open the file. Okay, as you can see, it's loading pretty fast. Okay, so you can see all these plugins that are used in this project. So I'm going to just hit OK and close this window. OK. And now it launched the project file. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this window. Okay, I'm going to go and find all the plugins that I don't use anymore. I mean, those plugins that I've already rendered to audio. I believe I already rendered the audio from this synth. So I'm going to go and select input. Now it goes straight to the track. And now I'm going to go and disable it or remove this plugin. And I'm going to do the same thing for other plugins as well. Okay, I'm going to go and select this one, select input. Okay, synth player. I don't think I use. Let me dev just double check. No. See, I didn't use this. I didn't use this at all. So I'm going to go and remove them. And I use contact. I use contact. Playbit. Yeah, I didn't use Playbit as well. So I'm going to go and select input. And I'm going to remove them. Okay, now I've removed some of the plugins that I used in this project. I think I didn't use Transfuser as well. So let's go ahead and remove Transfuser. This one right here. And now I'm going to save this project and I'm going to save this as new version. All right. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to close this window and I'm going to close Cubase. And I'm going to go ahead and launch Cubase again. Okay, so now I'm going to open the file that I just tried to open earlier. Let's see if it opens. Alright, perfect. So now, as you can see, the project is open and now I can work on it, right? So, yep. So that's what you should do when the QBase crash. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.